Roberta watches her sons spout laughter from their geyser throats. Sun choked and filled with joy when she brings them to the beach. All six family members are here. A sanctuary slightly out of reach, a, la a raft against the lash of constant waves. But the undertow will be too savage for her to save them. Today, the ocean is a tyrant appointed to swallow them all until 80 complete strangers build their version of a wall in the Gulf of Mexico, single-mindedly summoned to ferry Roberta's drowning family back to shore. 80 complete strangers who know every wall needs at least one door. Today, 80 people became bodies of resistance. Today, 80 folks rebelled against an apathetic ocean's insistence on a sacrifice. And this is life, y'all. In these bodies, breathless and beleaguered, we coax one another to survive. We are alive despite even our bones' descent. The slack-jawed mutter that says these bodies were not meant for delight. Who are we to smile as the world spins in entropy, a hula hoop at our feet? What right have we to meet this day with anything but fear? We are safe right now, but out there, Wells the tiny bloom of child we hush from the inside and I know he is, she is, we are afraid, convinced we must beware and hide. But what are we if not survival personified? Because at this very shake of second, a queer kid stands unapologetically lucent in the lion's den of a middle school cafeteria. Just as a woman steals herself and enters the precinct preparing to report the rape, the defiant against the red tape that would, sooner, that would sooner indict the length of her skirt only to acquit the menace of toxic masculinity. A fabulously fat woman on a plane explains to the man who has spent the last 45 minutes dissecting her body in a series of tweets that she has no intentions on vacating her seat of dignity to make room for his hate. A, an, a, a woman with cerebral palsy and 30,000 signatures petitions for accessibility in the office of a college dean. Some days, the invocation of simply being seen in the body you have today is the chant, is the march, is the picket sign. There is no time in all of history when these bodies have not resisted, even as they attempted to gavel our silence. Nevertheless, we persisted, each of us, a link in the human chain. Your shame has not slain even the lowliest of beasts, but our collective transformation has delivered us intrepid to capital city streets, three million grains of sand forged under the heat of oppression until we were fine as keen edged glass, a butress of bodies unafraid to ask why black lives should not matter as we saw no they and we. New solidarity was a word that must spring forever like water beside a standing rock. The clock of justice will not tear while you question whether you are worthy of the fight. Despite all you have been told, resistance is an everyday act. The work of excavating each tiny artifact of the oppressor that lives in you. Your call to be a balm to every self-inflicted wound is the way movements are birthed. In a land content to bid you endless slumber, Waking unrepentant in your skin is a hero's journey and the only way we collectively prevail. And only then can we say in the words of the famous poet Lucille Clifton, won't you celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill us and has failed and has failed and will fail. <laughs>